Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, the markets have had a little bit of a rebound this morning after yesterday's slight negativity. You see we bounced off potential support at 17,738 and we do currently have a bullish engulfing pattern. Most of the markets are moving slightly higher, especially the UK 100 is having a particularly strong spike this morning, but it did come off quite aggressively yesterday. So trading above both moving averages, we did have sell signals and other technicals right now, but we are trading in between two ranges. The question is, can we re-challenge 17,895? Uh, and that's the next potential resistance on the US 30. So moving on to the UK 100, you can see we're having absolutely fantastic um, bullish engulfing pattern just now, smashing through 6686, iron up 6771. Um, again, trading above that 21 period SMA and um, the other technicals are still slightly overbought to be honest, but we are having a real good um, attempt to break higher. A little bit off the highs of the day, but uh, it's looking pretty aggressive this morning. So um, hopefully able to uh, recoup some of those losses last couple of sessions. So looking at Japan 225 and we're still seeing some interesting moves in dollar yen last night. I uh, saw so dollar come off ever so slightly, but it's, uh, it's surging higher again. Um, Japanese yen losing a little bit of steam right there, which is punching Japan 2 to 5 really above 17,896. And it's now looking at 18,306. And it's a really strong technical breakout we've ha we're having right now. And it's breaking above yesterday's candle, uh, which obviously got beat all the way right back down as dollar yen had slightly unwound, unwound some of its strength. But um, let's have a look at that dollar yen position as well. So um, looking at this, uh, we're having a re-challenge of uh, 118 or maybe really 119 really. We managed to just peak above it yesterday just to move right back down again. We're having another re-challenge again today on the day charts is giving another bash right as we speak. The technicals are obviously massively overbought. That's not a huge surprise. The longer term potential target is still 124.42. Anything above 120 is not so great for the Bank of Japan. So just be very wary here, but it does look like we're having another go at it just now. Uh, so things looking kind of encouraging uh, on that FX front. I like a lot of traders will be looking at dollar yen later on today. So many traders also looking at crude oil West Texas that managed to have a, a real strong bounce yesterday of, uh, of $64. My fact, sorry, that's on the weekly chart. Let's go into the daily chart there. I had a really strong bounce there yesterday. It's not really following through today, which should be slightly disappointing, to be honest, after yesterday's. It's a very, very strong hammer formation, bullish engulfing pattern on the previous candle as well. Uh, resistance at $70, uh, looming. Um, large in the horizon perhaps putting some traders off a lot of traders have made a, quite a few percentage points gains on this candle there yesterday to be fair nothing much has really changed a bit of a rebound uh some people probably buying while crude oil is cheap you know 64 dollars the same for same for most commodities actually people buying up copper gold silver uh, crude oil for the like for the long long term uh, i think the reality is is nothing's really changed um since uh, since since monday morning so you know, it's just a dead cat bounce. It feels like it could be. Um, for as long as we're not trading above $70 spot 40, uh, you know, that, that's what a lot of traders are going to think that you, know, you can push this back down again. Normally, when traders kind of see, smell blood in the water, they just keep on going for it. And uh, things have not really changed. It is cheap historically, uh, but there's maybe a little bit of extra room for maneuver. Like the further, the next potential support level after 64 is $60. And perhaps then things are slightly uh, a little bit more interesting, but we'll see how that pans out. So as you can see, that unbelievable move in gold yesterday. This is absolutely incredible, going from close to 11.37, smashing up through 11.86, and actually hitting 12.18. Uh, this is one of the biggest moves in gold that I've seen in a long, long time. Um, a real acceleration to the upside right here, but then a, a strong reversal again this morning. So 12.18 is certainly the next potential resistance. Next potential support is at 11.86. I'd be hugely surprised if gold was able to maintain this uh, this type of momentum and, and break up even higher. Um, but this is certainly a free candlestick formation. I've not seen a day like that. Uh, if you go back many, many months, um, you know you can see some days like this in April last year, July last year. Um, very, very interesting. So um, just be very careful with gold. It's probably going to come off a, a little bit today. Lots of volatility to be found. So finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD, this is moving to the downside. The middle of two, two ranges, uh, 2367 is the next potential support, potential resistance at one spot 2579. Uh, fundamentals are still negative for euro, more positive for the US dollar. And then if we finish up with, for GBP USD, 
similar similar kind of uh, viewpoint still in downtrend cat by one spot 5743 uh, next potential support one spot 5599 so economic data wise very light on the um on the macro data front today fast forward on to tomorrow we've got more chinese pmi data u.s housing index data um more pmi from the uk uh, more PMI from the U.S. and crude oil inventories on Wednesday, which would be very interesting for West Texas crude. So um, not much today, a lot more stuff happening tomorrow. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of the lead going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.